masking. Okay, so I'm going to run down a few masking 101 rules. Okay? And they're rules only in ZBrush 4. <laughs> so, some are good, some are bad. First off, the usefulness of masking. Control, Command, I'm going to have this mask on. Control command will allow me to mask off a planar surface. Rule number one, it's based upon resolution of the mesh. So if you have a mesh that only has a few levels of subdivide, your mask is going to be a little jacked up. Okay. So here's masking, and I can clear that mask. Divide this a little bit. Again, go mask by control and command. Click and drag. And you can see now it's very, very crisp around the outside edge. Okay. Again, I'm going to just do that at a different angle so you can get a better demonstration out of it. There we go. So I can inverse that if I wanted to. And I can also now go into other brushes, like uh, the other clip brush. So one's kind of a curve mask tool, the other one's a clip. So I can get some real harsh deformation on the mesh. Okay. And I can also smooth that out just a little bit. I mean, the only thing bad about the clip brush is it clips. I mean, it has no smoothing capabilities whatsoever. So you smooth it a little bit. Okay, and that's nice in the fact that, you know, I can keep doing that over and over. Again, you know, if I added some goo to it, and then go in here and clip that off, I can start getting a very unorganic look to this. And if I didn't want it cone shaped, I can do layer. So I'll add a lot of intensity to this. So it pops up. So it just makes a different kind of cone, a little bit less. Now, the idea here is to store a mask. Okay, so I'm going to show you the traditional way of doing it. The traditional way is based upon resolution of UVs. So right now, if I went in here and I said create alpha, it'll store this information over here. Now, if you see the map size down below in the lower left hand side, it says 20, 1024 by 1024. Okay? So here's what I would say to you. On UV map, you should probably go 4096, 4096. That way, when you create an alpha, the new one's going to be 4096, 4096, and it stores that data correctly as crisp as it gets okay now 
anytime I need that, I can resurface it. Let's say I clear the mask. I take the mask in masking and I hit clear. Okay. But after a while, I decide, well, I kind of need that back. Anytime I need it back, I can grab that mask. Mask by Alpha. Okay. And you're going to find that the new ZBrush, as I said, there are some rules and some are good, some are bad. One rule that is bad now is you get a lot of anomalies in a mask. There's no doubt about it. So I'm going to show you the proof of this. So, you know, if I don't, if I get called out on it, um, I have proof. And in here, I'm going to take and lower this all the way down. Make a new set of UVs. Let's say ZBrush Famous AUV tiles. Okay. Okay, then I go back up. And of course, I'll never be able to get back to that mask. Not the one that I had before. It's impossible now. So we'll have to start a, a new kind of area to mask off. I'm going to do that by using uh, that same clip brush. And this time it's control and command. Because I just want to alpha. Okay, so there I have my alpha. And I can store that as an alpha. Okay, I'm going to clear that out. Make sure that's an intensity of 100. Mass by alpha. Okay, now if you look very carefully at this mask, I'm going to inverse it for you to kind of see it, and I'll add something to it. Let's say I add some standard brush to it. Standard brush. Well, I'm just going to kind of draw in this area, and it doesn't look anything different, right? But as you can see, there's small anomalies here. And if I hold shift, I can smooth these out for you so you can really see them. So, there's some one on ones of masking in ZBrush. You can store masks using the H traditional method of this. And this is the most preferred method because you can also store masks via layer. I'll show you that in the next video. Um, but now there's anomalies within the masks. So, just be careful word of warning and let's go on to the next video